Hello, hello, hello beautiful people, welcome back to a brand new video and finally, after a very long time of not having leagues, we got leagues back. And let me tell you, this is easily one of the most fun ways to play RuneScape. So if you're generally not really playing RuneScape that much anymore, I feel like leagues is the best time to actually fully enjoy the game. As you guys probably know, I've reached Dragon Rank in every single league so far, so I guess that's kind of going to be my goal for this one as well. But most importantly, we're just going to have fun and experiment a lot of different things. So that being said, I guess let's jump 20 minutes into the future and enjoy Leagues 4 Reloaded. Ladies, gentlemen, we got in. Uh, we start off by, I guess, just completing the tutorial. Boom, boom. This is same as the old stuff, I think. We're just gonna click some continuous stuff while they teach us how to play the game. Uh, and I do believe the very first thing that the game will let us do is pick our first uh, relic. I think the relics is what they're called. Uh, here is where we can select the areas that we will play. I have uh, two different ideas to what I wanna do. If I go mage, I'm gonna go desert Asgarnia Kandarin. If I go range, I'm gonna go desert Asgarnia and Fremenic. However, I am still unsure. You have a new area available for your sh selection. Already, bro. What do I pick first? Wait, this is a problem, bro. Out of... Dude, I have to decide. Do I just start with Asgarnia or do I start with Desert? Oh, you have to... Oh, I see. They let you pick Karamja. That's good. I didn't want to... Oh my goodness, it's so dark. It's alright. Didn't let me zoom in, but apparently we've unlocked Karamja right now. And now we're gonna have to unlock one of the things. And this is where you have three really good options at the start. So, because I need to have something AFK to do, uh, I'm gonna pick Endless Harvest. However, Trickster, very good option if you pick something like Mauritania or something like Kandarin, uh, where you can go ahead and uh, do a bit of thieving and whatnot. Production Prodigy is very good all around, but super click intensive. Endless Harvest, I plan on AFKing three skills to 50 million XP, which is going to be a lot of points, which is going to be very AFK, which is my reason of choice. Again, if you're super active and you want to like super try hard, don't pick this. But for me, when I'm doing my downtime stuff, when I need to just relax or, or, or do something else, this is going to be perfect for us. So we got fishing, woodcutting and mining. And because I also plan on taking the clue relic later on, I can be fishing and getting my clues fully AFK, which is basically what I'm looking forward to. So let's go ahead and select our endless harvest here. And uh, that's gonna be my very first relic unlocked. Perfect. Now we can end the tutorial and we can actually zoom in and play the game. Why do I look bald? What is my character? Oh my, all right, let's figure it out. Where do we begin? We got this, we got that, we got this. All right, do I start by thieving a bit? Let's, let's thieve a bit. If I remember correctly from the past is to actually get 25 coin pouches and then open them. So that's, I already know that's a task and it probably will still be a task. So, oh, I also noticed that the game gave me a pet already, by the way, because you have it from the past leagues. First level five, dude, we're going crazy on the level up department. Okay, so there we go. This is one of the first things that I knew for a fact we could do. And that is to open 28 pouches, get a bit of coins, finish a task and uh, let the task streak begin. 10 laps of drainer agility course. You know what? I'm down to do it. So at the start of leagues, it can be quite chaotic deciding what you're gonna start off with. We made our way to Drainer. I'm gonna do 10 laps and I'm gonna stay here until I see a mark of grace as well. That's going to complete a couple of tasks. And then also, I quickly got 16 woodcutting by just chopping regular trees. And then whenever I don't know what task I'm planning on doing next, I'm simply gonna result back to chopping some trees. No matter where I am in the world, when I'm unsure what I do, I just go chop trees, Everything goes directly to bank and then I can plan my next couple of steps. So that's my plan for now. We're gonna start off by doing 10 laps and getting a mark of grace. We got first level 20. We're gonna cry on a field right here real quick. Okay, there it is. And four more laps and then we are doing a bunch of tasks which I have written down whilst doing agility. 10 agility laps are completed, beautiful. And 10 laps of drainer are also completed. Now let's go ahead and do a bunch of our tasks. First, we start off by burning a few things okay looks like we're 15 so i'm not gonna bother with regular logs anymore make a quick oak one and that's gonna be the tasks that are very simple to do very fast completed i might genuinely push for 30 something wood cutting just to be able to do the willow as well uh, but there is burn some oak logs and we're just gonna chop some more oaks right here on these trees it appears we're now level 21 fishing didn't want to get all the way to 25 but i'll take it why is this guy burning i'm so confused but now we got some anchovies we got some shrimp we can cook it that's should be some XP, but also I think that's some tasks. So let's just go ahead and I don't even know why I'm burning my own, but hopefully the game lets me burn something. Just let me burn like one. That's perfect. Burn some food is a task. You can actually probably get lucky here and not burn anything. 
or you can be me and burn everything, it is what it is. And let's cook some shrimp, beautiful. Basically right now I'm just working on getting some super easy and fast total levels whilst I'm planning out the rest of the journey. I successfully cook five pieces of food, also simple tasks. Uh, and uh, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and cook everything I have here. Okay, a little bit of cooking later and we are probably gonna end off with 95 cooking. So it's gonna be time to do a bunch of tasks that we have written down. We're gonna go here, we're gonna do a little dance, bang. We're gonna go here, we're gonna visit death. Sure, that's it, I don't need to talk to you, goodbye. That's gonna be one mine copper thingy. There we go, that's mine copper. Now I need to mine 10 tin. Oh, there we go. Nice. Tentinor, let me get out of here, man. There's too many people and I'm not tick manipulating, so dipping real quick. So I need to enter this place. That's gonna be a task. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so that's a goblin defeated. If I pick up his bones real quick. That is bones buried. Let me just guess if there's a drink a beer one as well. That would be too clean. Didn't get it. Burn 100 willow logs. That could be one of the ones we should do. I would like 200 coins for a steel axe first before I do that one though. And then there's a chop 100 willow as well. And then it's fletch a willow shortbow, which is just 35 fletching. Also, I need a knife. I really need a knife. But that's everything to do with willow. Okay, so let's get this to 30. That's gonna be our next goal. And then to chop 100 willow to burn, we can do the fletching tasks as well. There it is, achieve our first level 30, a bunch of points, and we get wood cutting to level 30 as well. Now it would be nice to get 200 coins for a steel axe right now, but first I'm just gonna make my way to Varok and we're gonna do some Varok tasks. The goal right now is to not worry about tasks too much, but push for the next relic. It's gonna help us teleport around the game a little bit better. I'm not going fairy rings. I will go the globe trotter. I'm, I don't know. I'm still in the dilemma, but there's my first 2k coins. Let's get the 10k and then move on. Okay, there is 5k and now let's try not to die. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Uh, is there a task for the boots on the bottom? There might be. Uh, but anyways, there is 10k. Let's get the boots if they are a task, which I think they are. I am... Very tempted to do globe, but fairy is also really good, man. I think fairy is really decent. Okay, let's take a look. I fully gambled. I don't know if this is a task or not, but let's just uh, speculate it. Okay, nice. Okay, so how much of this money am I willing to lose? That's the question. Because how hard is it to actually get money for me? I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and just risk it a little bit and buy a staff of fire here of the start. There we go. Oh, and that's a task. Beautiful. And let's just buy a bunch of runes is what I'm thinking. 50 of those, 50 of those, just so I can cast everything. Let's just cast this for now. I'm doing this for cosmetics. I've always done leagues. I'm doing it for fun. Okay, that's a guard defeated. I'm just gonna guess there's something to do down here as well, probably. Wait, I could just go kill a moss giant, right? Can I slash with this? Hack, smash, chop, that's slash. Okay, I think I can do it. I'm like doing some the randomest stuff right now though, not gonna lie. I didn't bring any food. Probably not very smart now that I think of it. Oh wait, but this is multi. I hope not too many people have the same idea. Okay, there's one guy in there. He's gonna die. He's having a rough Christmas. Okay, what are we doing? Can I pull him like here? Let's just try it. Fuck. Okay, this should be fine, right? He shouldn't be able to come here. All right, it should be, it should be doable. And then I hope there's one where you like bury a big bone or something as well. And then I need to just get a knife and we are we're solid. Okay, there we go. Maybe there's one to cast a fire strike as well. Okay, combat level 10 is a task. We're getting super close to the next relic unlock. Uh, there's a nature rune, beautiful. Insult head, not bad. That's a task. Can I bury this? Is that a task? That is not a task. Uh, let's pick some of these up. I could actually get a rune axe as well from the spirits, right? Okay, let's go do that then. I'm down to get a rune axe, honestly. How do I not die here though? That's the question. We go here and then we teleport. Please tell me I can teleport. Right, we're good. Nice. Okay, we've milked a cow, we made some flour, and now we're gonna insult Aggie real quick. You mad old witch, you can't help me. Oh, that's messed up. And she stole my money. That's messed up. Uh, but anyways, I'm speedrunning 20 uh, points right now. So let's just enter the Drainer Manor. And then we're going to be able to get a little bit more XP. Okay, there. And now where's the chair? I need to get followed by the chair. 
Hey, there it is. Beautiful. We now have enough points to unlock a new relic. So I've actually had enough time to think and decide my plan. So I'm very much thinking about going desert Asgarnia Fremenic. And in the Fremenic, I can make a nexus and I can fully deck out my house. And if I do that, Fairy's Flight is better. Because Fairy's Flight gives you a Fairy Mushroom, which basically allows you to teleport to either Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree, or Tool Leprechaun. So basically, if I put a tree in my house, I can just teleport everywhere in the game. But Globetrotter, on the other hand, basically allow us to teleport everywhere around the game already, right? So this would be like the, the first good option. This would also be a good option, and, and this is where another dilemma comes in, because I genuinely don't know which one I would prefer. I mean, Globetrotter would be amazing right now, being able to teleport to, like if I click it, being able to teleport through a fully upgraded jewelry box, all the teleports from the portal nexus, basically at the very start of the game can be super solid. But if I go back and I go Ferris Flight again, teleporting to any Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree or Tool Leprechaun seems pretty decent. Dude, I don't know, man. Oh. I'm going fairy ring. I've decided. Let's go to relics and let's just take it, bro. I'm gonna take fairy's flight. Select it. Let's just get it over with. Boom. There we go. We have it. So let's see how this thing works. I am. I kind of want to get a rune X right now. So if I click teleport, I can then decide to pick fairy ring, spirit tree, or two leprechauns. So let's go ahead and pick fairy ring. Bam. There it is. Beautiful. Can I? Kill some of these now. I have an X. This can give me either a Steel X or even better a Rune X or even better a both would be quite solid. I don't have that many runes, but I'm willing to spend 5k on it. So let's take a look. So if I go here, here, I can go ahead and just attack this. And this is the same thing I did in the last rune, if I remember correctly. But we don't have that many casts, but we can get extras. That's a Mithril X. That's already very good. We can already use that better than Steel for sure. Today is a good day, man. Today is an absolutely phenomenal day. We just got a rune X. Beautiful. I don't think I need to stay here any longer. We're just gonna go ahead and teleport to Grand Exchange. And we are going to go ahead and actually do our very first thing that we want to do, which is to get 100 Willow Logs, because that's easy. We're gonna get levels in the process. We're gonna utilize our rune X in the process, which is also one of the tasks. So really good, we got lucky there. I don't really need Adamant 1 either, so we're just gonna use Mithril tier 41. That is beautiful start, and we can now AFK and plan the rest of the route. There we go. Chop some logs with the rune X, already completed, beautiful. Okay, we got ourselves 102 logs, and now we're gonna go ahead and burn all of them. But first, I need to get a higher fire making level. So nice little process, let's get it done. We're almost done with the first 30 fire making. That should now allow me to burn all of these logs for more XP and more tasks. So let's get this done quickly. We burnt all our willow logs. This is now done. Beautiful. Whilst trying to get back into the Jagex launcher so I can actually play the game on rune light like I would want, I decided to AFK some willows. We're now 50 woodcutting. We got a little task completed. I'm gonna stay here until this Jagex launcher thing starts to work for me. Uh, but man, that's frustrating. Okay, there it is. That's Dark Wizzy done. And I do believe if it lets me get into the Jagex account, I can actually start doing some quests now. <laughs> All right, a few quests, we get this done. We did the Romeo and Juliet, we do Cook's Assistant, that should give us some points. And if not, we should be able to cook something on this range now. But for that, I need a fish, which I don't think I have. And there's no bank down here, oh my god. Okay, so this should be a task that's pretty fast, and then... I need something that's gonna give me a bit of money, because I don't have enough. But there should be a dog somewhere here. Yo, I'm gonna do this, this guy's gonna give me coins, for sure, right? Hold up. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do it, bro. Watch this. He's gonna give me a thousand coins. It's gonna be great. Pick the odd one out. Bam. It's just the best to ever do it. The speed and the technology. Here we go. The fish. And bam. Okay, here we go. We're the winner. Oh my god, a thousand coins. This was blessing from Jagex. It's exactly what I needed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, I can buy two more of these and finish the quest. We're good. Gentlemen, I would like to make an announcement. It took us three hours, but we managed to log into Rune Light and now I can actually play the game. Oi, oi, oi. Dude, I'm happy, man. Let's go. This is huge. Wait, do quests give bonus XP on this? I don't actually know. Bang, little bed. Already 12. That's actually solid. Looks like we have enough planks as well. Money seems to be quite tight on this account though. But maybe if this gets me up to like Oak Larder, I can also do that later. There we go, that's 18 and the last thing. Yeah, on Trickster it's very easy to make money. Fire sale also. But there it is, nice. Now own the player-owned house. I think if I open these crates, we get a bunch of resources, which is pretty good. 
I don't know if I need this. I'm just gonna guess it and hope that entering my house is actually a part of the quest. And it is. And with that, we can now unlock a new area, which is perfect. I've had a little bit of thinking and... Obviously, I think I mentioned it earlier, I am very decided what I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play Asgarnia, Fremenic, and Desert Arranged. But because of that, I kinda wanna take Asgarnia first, even though it has a lot of late game tasks, just so I can start utilizing my Dorgish and Crossbow early. I'm gonna do it, I don't know if it's good, but I guess you can just look the rest of the video and see if the decision was good. I will tell you soon enough, I don't like to do like crazy planning and do like all these things. I just wanna go with Asgarnia. We'll see if it's good or not, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let's pop Asgarnia open here. Uh, this is now going to give us a bunch of cool stuff. We're gonna have entrances to like black dragons. We're gonna be uh, obviously later on God Wars. Also, if I max, I'll be able to get a max cape here. Cyclops, Serb, Kuriara, General Grador, Ziliana, Kuril, Nex, Whisperer and superior slayer creatures. So all of that sounds pretty good to me. Wait, desert gives Dorgashen. Wait, 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 wait. How do you get the Dorgashen if you unlock desert? Then I might be able to do that first then. Should I just do desert then? Is there like a lot of tasks for desert? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. We're just gonna not overthink it and we're just gonna unlock desert first since it's a plan of what I want to unlock anyways. There it is, desert is ours, and this also auto-completes a bunch of things, right? Because look how much stuff just gets done. So that's actually pretty good, these are medium tasks as well. Lost tribe, below house miner, like, wait, I didn't actually think Gertrude's cat. So all this just gets auto-completed. Okay, did Alcarid agility course till 30? We're now gonna go back to Varrock, actually, to get another task by just simply doing the lap, and also getting to, like, 35. And then we're gonna go do a few agility pyramids, because our money situation is absolutely horrendous this early on. Obviously, if we went with a trickster, it would be a little bit easier, but we didn't, so we are broke. I made it to the top, and if I start failing three times, again right oh no 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 Oof. this is exact oh wait one more let's see this this is exactly what happened earlier i made it to here failed once failed twice failed three times went all the way to the bottom i've tried since level what 30 agility we're now 41 we haven't gotten a single pyramid top we had to bank twice buy full inventory of kebabs let's just say we're struggling a bit but this is it this time we're gonna get the top and actually get a bit of money i believe so i don't know if this is already a task no this is just a desert task but when we cash this in for money, it's also gonna be a task. Okay, let's see the XP drop. If I got a bit lucky earlier, I would have gotten this big XP drop. It's 5,000 only. I mean, I guess it's pretty decent, right? So we would have gotten a bunch of XP. Uh, but anyways, that's 43 agility. I think I'll do like one more top. Basically, I need enough money to buy Dorgeshin crossbow with bolts, with a bunch of other th stuff. So 20k seems about right for now, but I can always return here if I really need money. Uh, however, I'm just hoping I don't really need money. There we go, 10,000, that's obviously a task, 40 points is pretty decent, my next goal is to push for these 190 points, but first let's get 10 more K. There we go, we're gonna run away with 20k, agility level is 46, so after quickly cashing this in, my next goal is to get 190 points as fast as possible. If I trade this guy, he now has the Dorgi, which is, it is gonna be beautiful, and then how many do I get if I buy one of these? It's just 100. I'm down to go down to like 15k, that should be enough, especially after we are able to unlock the next relic. I'm not gonna be using that yet, but this is gonna be really good. We're gonna buy one of the rods, we're gonna buy 10 bait, and the rest is just gonna be few packs of feathers. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna catch this many, but the idea right now is we're gonna catch 100 lobsters, 50 salmon, 50 swordfish. But I guess first thing is we are just gonna be using this, and also catching one salmon should also be a task here on the Karamja. But yeah, basically a bit of fishing should get some nice levels, but also some good XP. Hey, there we go. Catch a salmon on Karamja. Lots of points, only 130 missing. And now we're gonna catch 50 of these, and then we're gonna move on to lobsters. 50 salmon caught. We got all the way up to 46 fishing. I don't know why I said that so slowly, uh, but that means I can now go ahead and do a bit of lobster catching. I have the money. Do I want to catch a hundred lobsters right now? I might as well. I hope 10 bait is enough, otherwise I don't really know. Yeah, there we go, we caught a herring, and now we can just cage and AFK for a bit. Okay, so since this gets asked a lot, and I figure that this is pretty important information for most people to know, is 
what is the best way to like track which tasks you've done or which you haven't done so if you are playing on runelight which you should if you're not you can go here on the plugin hub and search for wiki sync and you download the wiki sync and then you click the like look up here it will live update as you complete tasks you can pick which regions you've chosen and then you can just scroll and see a hey, which tasks can i do and that's basically all there is and you can always look it up to refresh it okay in hindsight this probably wasn't worth my time investment but anyways here is 100 lobsters we are 30 points away let's get this done quickly let's see if i'm not mistaken i can buy a torch from here somewhere somehow ah oh, there we go might as well buy another tinderbox. That's a task. Let's go to Grand Exchange and let's finish the museum as well real quick for some nice XP. All right, there we go. This should now unlock our next dilemma of the account. All right, if we go over here on the relics, we can now unlock either a banker's note or fire cell. And let me tell you, you can't go wrong with either of this. A banker's note is something I'm leaning towards very much because it just allows something that I've never experienced in the game, which is you can unnote and renote items wherever you are. We're talking Inferno, note like, I don't know, thousand sharks going to Inferno and just chug them, you know? Or I don't know, it's just like kind of insane to me. Also like 99 rune crafting, pick a bunch of rune essence, go next to an altar, unnote craft, unnote craft. I feel like it would be so cool to use. But as you can see, you can unnote items anywhere in the Gilenar. You, yeah, you can also note every item anywhere in the Gilenar, right? So it's like really insane. And this would be insane, obviously, if I didn't go gathering relic as well, then it would be even better. I'm very, very tempted to take this. However, the counterpart is the fire cell. And this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. Like, this is infinite money glitch in leagues, basically. Everything is free. Everything that uses coins is free in the game. That means, like, you want to go construction training with, like, a 10 million item? You can. Like, th this is this is really insane. But shops no longer buy items for the gold. So you can't, like, buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell to make money, right? So that's also maybe something worth considering. However... I've already made my decision in my mind beforehand, so I guess we're going banker's note, man. It is what it is. I mean, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's take it. And there it is. We now uh, are the proud owner of Crystal Memories and banker's note. Oh, I didn't know. This is a, uh, what's it called, man? The the old uh, last, re last recall. So this is really good. This teleports you where you last were, and this banks your stuff. So if I want a note to drop bang just like that this is beautiful bro i like it i love it the goal is to get the 780 points i want to unlock the next relic let's get started okay orlando smith now we get bonus xp because we've unlocked the next relic let's go ahead and take a look how much we get eight thousand and eight thousand all the way to 25 slayer all the way to 25 hunter as well nice little beginner clue scroll we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and do it that's in wizard's tower luckily we got teleport right in front of that but i don't have a spade First clue scroll of the account. What is it going to be? It is bare feet. Wait, this might actually be a task. We got some shrimp and some earth rune. Bang. We use it. All right, awesome. Getting unique from a beginner clue. It worked. Perfect. Back to Lumbridge. There it is. We are now 28 range, which means it is time for a Dorgi. Little Dorgish and crossbow situation. This is going to help us quite a big time. And obviously later on when we go range relic, which is not that far away, we're going to be probably using this thing all the way until we get a rune crossbow and rune crossbow is gonna make this thing even better but i'm gonna train a bit of defense now there's some defensive tasks that i could get okay well we just got a level 30 range meaning that i can now equip maple shortbow that's also a task and i can now uh, drop it because i will never use that thing all right we got a chef's head let's kill some cows get some hides and train a bit of crafting next okay well we did all of those goblins so we can enter I need 32 cooking. Ah, of course. Let's get it fast. <laughs> oh my god. Watch this. Boom, boom. Make a fire. <laughs> Wait. Boom. Now we do... Uh, boom. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Wrong one. No, uh, wrong one. There we go. I misclicked. It is what it is. Now we do boom. Now we do boom. Boom, boom, boom. Dude, I've, this is stupid. <laughs> Why am I cooking shrimp? Now I change my mind. We do boom. And then we do boom. And now we click trout. Okay, and now it's boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get 32 so we get this over with. That's actually kind of funny. Completely useless. Bank is right there. 
but it looks cool. All right, we got 32 nice and fast. Let's get uh, this and there it is. This one is all of that for 40 points. Honestly, not too bad. I'll take it. There's no black, but there is mithril this thingy here. Now I need to go to Varok Center and then Al Karid and I can have all of these done. Buy one of the mithril bodies. I have a little bit of money left. I can, which one's cheaper? 1k, 3k. Buy one of those, equip it, sell it back. We don't need it. I should hopefully be able to buy 2.6, equip all of this, bang, how much is that? 10, all right, well, there it is. Black X, okay, well, 10 points, we'll take it. That's 14, meaning I can make this. There we go, that's a task, should be 10 points, and I'm just hoping that this is enough to get to 20, because then I unlock a pretty decent moneymaker for myself that I would like to demonstrate. There we go, perfect. And I'm gonna keep one leather in my bank, might as well. That's 20 crafting, meaning that I can now cut my sapphires. And now let's take a look. Can we do this? There should be a lot of people here. I think you can sell it for profit. So value of this one is 25, value of this one is 250. It's actually an infinite money glitch. But yeah, you can trade 99 crafting on this guy. And if you have the production thingy, you can make the whole inventory in one click. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's great money. But again, 175 sell and you can buy it instantly. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit. It appears that once you get to emeralds, it is even more profit. So you basically spend 50 coins and you get 350 back so whenever we're out of money we can come here we can train a little bit of crafting and at the same time make money which is actually maybe a little bit crazy we'll take it okay so it feels like the xp per hour ends at about 1.2 million with my current multipliers and that is without the relic that makes everything in one tick so pretty enjoyable experience up to 51 crafting not sure how long i'll stay here for i don't want to get too distracted from the goal but this is fun and it makes you decent money as well. I would like to make an announcement. There is no bananas left on the Karamja, bro. Hello, any tree with bananas, man. There is absolutely no bananas left. Everybody yoing them. Oh, I see bananas, huge. Go, go, go. Oh my God, I need 10. No, he's stealing, he's stealing. This one, this one. <laughs> Dude, I've never been so excited about picking up bananas, man. <laughs> what am I doing? That was worth it. That's 40 points for that is a bit funny, but we take it. Also, after I finish this, this will also finish another task. We're getting pretty close. I really want to unlock the next relic or the next area, whichever one comes first. One more and... Hey, there it is, 100 and powered orbs, another 40, we'll take it. We just finished buying a kitchen real quick, that was a task. Now we're making some chairs, we're hoping to get to level 33, I think, so I can make oak larders, and that's then another task. Few easy construction levels, and at the same time, few easy points as well. So there's 33, we can now build our oak larder. And that's a 40 pointer, which is really fast and definitely worth our time. Alcarid Warrior defeated, let's enter the Calphite layer. I maybe should have brought mage, by the way. I'll see if I ever hit, if not, I'm bringing mage. Okay, so we go period 3 Grand Exchange. And now we see I should be fine. Can I get a drop? It's not crossed, so we should be able to get it, nice. Hopefully this is my kill. There it is, 40 points, we take those. <laughs> what is this? Oh my. Wait, this is so broken, by the way, like... Rudoku Helper on top. Shout out to Rudoku Helper, man. Uh, so wait, what do I need from here, actually? Oh, Lorunes, Lorunes. So we can teleport around. We get like five. Uh, do I need anything else? I don't think I do. I think we're good to go. I guess I can TP here. That's a task. Nice. 40, actually, that's pretty good. Okay, I did my usual technique of chopping trees and figuring out what my next steps are. I want to kill a lesser demon, cast a blast spell, and then we need to do a bunch of stuff. So I guess I'm going to use this money to buy some bars. Two leprechaun, alkarid. We're going to worry about woodcutting later when we're out of options. There we go. Okay, we got the crocodile down. That was annoying. Okay, so that's going to be lesser demon. It's not on top of the wizard's tower, but that's... Way too many people are there right now. There we go, that's a lot of points. I think I can cast a blast spell on him for extra points. There we go. Okay, that's 10 points. We need to make more money. Let's go back to Alcarid and train crafting and make money. I guess, actually, first I'm gonna go to Varok and move my house to Polnivnich. That's easy points and better. Relocate this to Polnivnich. Bang. Thank you, homie. I'm eating my dinner. I just got 80 points for getting my first level 60 which 
puts us really close to unlocking the next relic. All right, quick little Temporos game, and let me tell you, Temporos on this game mode, really fun. Lots of experience, which is basically, it's not slow or anything, it's like guaranteed XP. And I hope the rewards are pretty decent as well. I mean, we'll have to do like a hundred games at, at some point. Uh, we'll do it nice and slow, but let's see what the reward is. I'm gonna claim rewards straight away because I wanna finish these 90 tasks as fast as possible. I don't wanna prolong it any longer. Prolong it any what the f Anyways, there it is, 56 fishing, Temporos defeated, we get, uh, well, only 10 points for this one, but maybe some points for claiming the rewards as well. Can I leave now? He's dancing. Let's leave, and let's also claim some rewards and see if we get something good off the bat. I don't know if this is multiplied or how this works. I probably just need net, right? Yeah. But let's take a look. If I net this, I have three chances. Swordfish, Lobster... And barrel, and this is a hundred points, I swear I got so lucky by the way. This is so insane. There we go, we pulled the barrel, which is very rare, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the goal of the first video, which is going to be selecting our most important relic on the account. This is what makes or breaks League for you, right? You got three options. We got Archer's Embrace, we got Brawler's Resolve, and we got the Superior Sorcerer. I finally got spooned on something, bro, I'm happy. So... We just got lucky, therefore, let me just explain it. I want to play Archer's Embrace, but I also want to play Mage. I've played melee in my last league and I don't want to repeat it. However, range just... We set up this account to start off with range. However, magic would be phenomenal as well. But basically, the idea is all of the styles have the exact same bonuses. As you can see, a lot of the ammunition is saved, faster attack speed, more damage, chance to proc uh, double bolts. It's absolutely ridiculous. We're going to pick it. And we're gonna have fun with it. Now, if you want to see us have fun using this relic, make sure to join the stream right after you finish watching the video. Because I will be streaming the entire night. And uh, if you can't watch the streams, stay tuned for tomorrow's upload. Where we are going to be fully testing Archer's Embrace. And uh, let's just say, enjoying the rest of the leagues. But as always, thank you very much for coming back to the channel. Thank you very much for watching today's video. And I will see you again very soon tomorrow with another upload. Have a good one and bye-bye.